Look, I woke up to some really shit news, man. If you guys haven't heard, which I mean, I'm sure you have if you've been on Twitter at all or have just paid attention at all. SM2 is officially being shut down. A lot of people knew that it was inevitable and like I just I, I had to leave some sort of hope. Essentially, they received a cease and desist letter uh, from Activision um, to completely have the entire project shut down. And that's what they're doing. Then this will be just a pretty chill video. Uh, we're going to be playing some Modern Warfare Remastered because uh, recently I never made an update video on it. And I meant to, but uh, I didn't get around to it. They were switching the engine to the uh, Modern Warfare Remastered engine rather than the original Modern Warfare 2 engine. And some people were speculating that that's what caused Activision to send the season desist, which I just, I don't understand. I think what pisses me off most about it is that they waited like two years to fucking like send this out because Activision has definitely known about this project for a very long time because all of the creators were making such a big deal about it there's no way that they didn't know that this thing existed god i really should have played h1 because this just feels like shit going back to the xbox one to play this i don't know every old xbox one game that i play just like feels like i'm playing at like 20 frames i don't understand i think it's like when you get used to like something insanely good as like either like the newer xboxes with the higher frame rate or PC, of course, with that insane frame rate, it's just, it's so hard to go back. Any any old Call of Duty I play, it's just, it doesn't feel the same. And I even heard from the um, the owner of Modern Warzone on Twitter um, that he spoke to the devs before uh, and like they didn't seem worried at all about like the outcome of SM2. Um, and it's just so weird that they just all of a sudden just shut that shit down instantly if they weren't worried about it. I mean, it's not like SM2 was like the, de the devs were like making a profit from this. They weren't. There was no microtransactions. There was no nothing. Everything was free. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. It's like Activision was completely like threatened by this like small ass like group of people making a better Call of Duty game than they ever will. Like making a collection of all the great Call of Duty games and putting them into one. I mean like I, I kind of have a theory though especially if they weren't worried about it to begin with. I feel like they're like what if they're shutting it down because they plan to do something among like the same lines they you know make a call of duty where they're combining all the old call of duties into one and i mean obviously like, they would want to do it because you know they can make a huge profit off of it i actually just thought about that and honestly that i i wouldn't be surprised because activision's money hungry as shit and honestly that would be a money maker for them because the amount of cosmetics that they would inevitably pump into a game like that is actually unreal but i just wonder like it, like can you imagine if that's actually what they're doing and it sucks that we won't like be able to uh like hear anything about the specifics on the season desist because you know the devs of sm2 like can't you know release the uh documents that they received yeah because even sass said that the letter contains redacted and personal information and cannot be shared online so that they can't like discuss what's on it like publicly my god that's just this sucks this put a whole bummer on my day like <laughs> this actually sucks ass God, my FOV is so zoomed in. I'm so used to 120. I don't go back often and play old COD games. I want to do it more, though. Another thing that was, um, like, a possibility on the reason why um, Activision decided to shut this down is because uh, because of the switch with um, going from the, like, the IW4 engine on Modern Warfare 2 to the H, or, like, essentially like the Modern Warfare Remastered engine, is that they already made people um, buy Modern Warfare 2, like, the 2009 one, um, in order to, you know, have access to SM2. Like, they, they were frowning upon torrenting, even though they were going to provide a torrent for it. Um, to be able to get the game for free. Um, they were strongly, like, you know, disencouraging people to do it. But they weren't going to tell them, you know, like, that they can't. However, with the switch of, in the engines, um, I think... I forgot exactly what, like, the words were. But they were essentially saying that, like, because of... Um, because they already had people buy the game for... Um, the original project with uh, p having people buy MW2, they were gonna have people buy uh, M Modern Warfare Remastered again um, and have to buy a whole another game. So I think they mentioned that they were providing a torrent and that they would prefer for people to do that. I think that's what happened. Um, and that could also be another reason why they decided to shut it down. Obviously, like, this is all like speculation for me. This is shit that I'm reading on Twitter. Um, I don't know exactly how any of the legal shit works or what the actual reasonings are because we can't actually see the documents that were sent to them. We can't see any of the actual, like, you know, any of the actual papers. So, for, for me, at least, it is all speculation. Yeah, because Salsa said on Twitter, and he said, I'm being told that it's because SM2 told people to torrent MWR because they already had, had told people to buy Modern Warfare 2. 
which would make sense. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why they would tell people to torrent the game. That, like, low-key could have just fucked everything up. Because, I mean, it's... It, but then again, I just... I don't know because it's not like they weren't providing a torrent for Modern Warfare 2 originally. Just, it seems like as of late, or at least this year, Activision just wants to ruin all our fucking fun. They do not like us. And, like, I just... I am so convinced they did. They just they've made their money and they do not give a flying fuck about the like the fan base anymore. And like I do hope that you know Call of Duty comes out and you know makes kind of like the you know that idea that I was talking about where they make their own kind of like collection of Call of Duty games. Um, so we at least still get something like that. But knowing that like if Activision were to do that, there's gonna be a shit ton of microtransactions. They would probably find a way to make it pay to win, and it wouldn't be nearly as good as what SM2 was gonna be. And it's very disappointing because. Uh, I was one of the uh, the few that were in like the had the VIP role in the server, you know, you know Big up to the devs of SM2 helping me out with that um, And they were gonna give all the VIPs and everything uh, beta access and like all the creators and shit um, So like I would have been able to play with like I don't know fucking uh, Feudives, Merc Music, Modern Warzone, just to name a few. There's a bunch of people, and then there were some other cool people in there that I met that we would have all been able to play uh, like early play test the game and make videos on and that's just not gonna happen. It's so unfortunate because I feel like the game was entering kind of a playable state. It's kind of interesting as well. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I got fucking blasted. And it will always be like, you know, fun to know that there are like, there are like the devs will always have a copy of SM2 and will be able to play it within themselves. They just can't release it to the public for us to be able to play. Because um, even Sass was saying on the Discord that uh, a few hard drives, you know, st will still hold the game. We just won't ever get it, which is very unfortunate. But I mean, shit, at least the devs get to play their creation. But it just, it sucks that Activision waits two years to do this, to pull the plug when they've known about it. And they just let the devs waste two years of precious time and all the hard work just for it to all go to waste. It's so disappointing. But I still want to thank the SM2 devs for even thinking of a project like this because... Like, to everyone in the community, like, you were literally doing God's work. You were doing what everyone wanted, and SM2, realistically, in my opinion, would have saved the Call of Duty franchise single-handedly. Um, and it, it would have kept all of us playing for, uh, like, an insane amount of time. And it would have been better than any fucking Call of Duty release that has been out within the past, like, what, maybe five years? And it's just so annoying that we're not gonna get it. I was so excited. I, I, some would say I have my hopes up. I was hyping the game up a lot, and I was like, yeah, you know, there's no way that Activision shuts it down, because one of my points was that if they wanted to shut it down, they would have done it already back then. But I guess I was wrong. I mean, I know a lot of people still have their doubts, but I, I still had my hopes high for it, and I still believed, because um, I just felt like, you know, like, if there was any doubt, but I felt like if there was any doubt by the devs that the project would get shut down, they wouldn't be working on it, but they were still working on it for two years straight, and this just kind of came out of nowhere. Like, it was at, like, 4 a.m. this morning that they put the announcement up on Discord. Just, my God, I don't, I don't know. Activision is doing everything in their power this year to make me hate them so fucking much. I've always given them the benefit of the doubt, and I've always hung in. And I'm still hanging in with the franchise. I'm still playing Modern Warfare 2. I'm still waiting for the next game. I'm, I still have hopes that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be good. But I'm also, like, prepared and ready to have my heart broken and to be disappointed from the game because that's all that it's been for the past like few years mind you like i did enjoy vanguard like towards the end of the year i did enjoy cold war i actually didn't even really like cold war as a game um just like how modern warfare 2 i don't even like but i'm still enjoying my time playing it um i just don't like it as a game and i don't like the content they're giving us but it's just crazy that i never really cared for cold war but that was the last good Call of Duty game that we got. <laughs> that was the last, like, somewhat well-made Call of Duty game. I mean, this, like, this this sums it up right here. Like, this, this tweet right here. I'll say, Feudos tweeted about it. Like, Activision really pissed off the community today. It's actually insane. This right here as well. SM2's cancellation honestly fucking me up big time right now. I don't think I've ever felt heartbroken with a game cancellation like this before. Yet, I'm, I'm the same way, dude. Yeah, Rage said it perfectly how it felt reading this news. This is so true. It's just, it's just pure heartbreak. It is so unfortunate. And you see how many people cared about this shit. This tweet has been viewed almost a million times. <laughs> like, because Rage was asking about it, whether it had to do with the engine change, like going to uh, H1. Um, and this is what I was uh, referring to earlier. It says, do I need to buy Modern Warfare Remastered on Steam in order to play this? No, we know we asked people to buy the game when the MW2 version of the product was still in development, but we do not want people to buy a second game after all this time. People who did buy Modern Warfare 2, however, will be granted exclusive rewards. 
So clearly this is insinuating that they are like really nudging a, a pirated version of the game, which I feel like this is the most likely reason for um, Activision pulling the plug here. Yeah, this guy was saying it as well. This is what, what my idea was earlier. They're either looking to make a premium release with the same concept or they're too, they aren't too confident with the upcoming releases. Which, I mean, obviously, like, this is very unlikely to happen for them to do their own version of this. But it could be very possible because, realistically, that would be smart for them to do because they would make a shit ton of money. Obviously, it would suck because SN2 was doing it the proper way and there was going to be no microtransactions and nothing to worry about. But Activision, knowing them, they would just, they would just turn it into a whole money grab. Yeah, Pomage is even upset about it. And on a side note, Paint Ops is still a thing. I think it's a mod for Modern Warfare 3. Um, it's paintball. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to check that out when that releases. Going to be pretty, pretty interesting. And I actually need to join the Discord server because I haven't yet. And yeah, go give uh, Andy a follow. I think he's one of the devs working on it. Um, or if not the only dev, I don't know how many people are working on it. I haven't looked too much into the project, but I've just seen the concept and I know that it's coming out and it looks pretty cool. Um, it's Black Ops 3, but like it's just, I mean, it's paintball and you got a bunch of old maps and everything, you know, it's crazy. And another side note, they um, explained, I think actually recently too, they also said that Shipment wasn't supposed to be a map at all. It was an a it was accidentally left into uh, Call of Duty 4 when that like build was released to the public, which is kind of insane. I just wondered like what it would be like now if <laughs> if they wouldn't have put it in. Uh, because like shipment is like like the staple of Modern Warfare games. But yeah, this came out. Um, you know that uh, we're we are going to be getting a classic map to Modern Warfare 2 pretty soon, which is kind of exciting because fucking like the maps suck, man. I actually hope that uh, what is this fucking map called? It was like CeeLo or something. Hold on, Skid Row, not CeeLo. What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, yeah, I I I hope that's the map that comes back. I really I really do. I really hope that that is the map. I fucking, oh, I love that map so much. Oh, and apparently pro players already tested out. But, you know, what, what'll happen is, you know, the pros will give feedback on, you know, shit that's broken with the map and shit won't get fixed because Activision doesn't like listening to feedback. So, you know, that's going to be fun. Could be Favela. I would like Favela, Quarry, you know, one of these things. Shit, I would even be fine with Terminal. Something. Just give us something that's not like dome for the thousandth time but yeah i'm gonna leave this video here uh it's just it's so unfortunate if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified every time i upload another video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one